What's up, all my producers out there? Now, this video is incredibly important because in this video, I'm going to show you how to back up all files in Ableton. So I have my song loaded up right now. This is my track, Just Another Tech House Song. I know, some shameless self-promotion. I'm showing you, I guess, like the drop and everything. So it's like your typical, you know, tech house style song. I have a link listed below it in the description if you want to check it out. But anyway, backing up your files is incredibly important. However, in case you didn't know, when you go to file and save, it saves all kind of the metadata, but it does not save your samples. So for example, for a song like this, a lot of tech house songs have a tremendous amount of samples. As you can see, I have a bunch of samples here. In order to save not only all the metadata, but to save all the files that are in this project, you're going to go to file, collect all and save. What this does is it takes all these samples, all the samples that you have in this project, and collects them all to that one Ableton project folder. So you do this, obviously it says this, specify which use media files are to be copied into the project. I have all these checked as yes, then I'm gonna click okay. Now obviously I already did this, but the first thing we do this is better basically take all those samples from all of your hard drive, and it's gonna take them all and put them in the Ableton project folder. That way, like I said, I'm gonna go back up my uh, files. I might as well show you what I do on a Fichero. Here basically all my different EPs, albums that I'm working on, of course, singles. So this was a single for me. So now when I go to Just Another Tech House project, within this Ableton project folder, I not only have obviously all the metadata of the project, of course, but now I have all the samples that I used in this. That way, when let's say you go to back it up and let's say a year from now, your computer crashes or you get a new hard drive. When you bring this project folder back in, if you did not do collect all and save, a lot of the samples would say, sorry, they're missing. They don't exist. But by doing this, now all the samples are gonna be located here. As you can see, I have import, recorded, and then obviously, of course, some splice, because you splice sounds a lot for my samples. All your samples in one folder, right in here. So when I wanna back it up, I just click here and I drag to basically wherever I wanna put it to, whether it's on a virtual drive, like a cloud drive, whether I wanna put it onto an external hard drive, whatever the case is, that way you never lose any of your samples and you don't lose anything that's in your project file.